Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about converting words to inequalities. And let's go through the steps first, and then we'll look at some examples. First, you will find the keywords which will determine which inequality sign you will use. You will write the inequality, substitute a number into the inequality test if you wrote matches the word problem, and then write an inequality for each situation, and then graph. Okay? So let's get started. Okay, there are at least 25 students who wore their Renaissance shirt today. So I'm going to circle the keywords, which is at least 25 students. Okay, so I'll write at least here. Okay, and then the inequality would be, remember it's at least, so x is at least 25, so it's going to be x is greater than or equal to 25 because x is at least 25 or greater than. Now, then what we would do is we could write it on a number line and I'll draw kind of a crude number line. And let me show you something there. If this is 25, since we are including 25, we would write a dot and color in the dot and then the arrow would be greater than. Okay. Now, I started with one that's a little tricky because at least it's like when do I use the greater than or equal to or less than and equal to. And here is a list, and I'll leave this list in the show notes. And here are some key words. For um, less than or equal, you have at most, maximum, the bottom, is no more than. So those are kind of clues to you that you're going to use less than or equal to. And then greater than or equal to is at least minimum top is no less than. So watch out for these words uh, and that way they tell you that it's less than or equal to. Okay, let's look at another example here. We have um, McClure is fewer, excuse me, McClure is fewer than 10 miles from Target. So we have fewer than 10 miles, okay, and so I'm going to write the keywords as fewer than, okay, and now we don't have one of the at least minimum top, etc., so we know that x is fewer than 10. It's going to be less than 10, and then I could write this on a number line, okay, and if this is 10, and in this example, we're going to draw the dot and leave it open and draw the arrow in that direction. Okay? Again, it's the dot is open because it's fewer than. Let's work just two more examples here very quickly. Actually, we'll just go with um, one more example, and here's one a little bit different. It says, Ray weighs more than 80 pounds, but no more than 110. So it is more than 80, but no more than 110. Okay, so now let's see if we have any of our uh, words that we are looking for. No more than, if you remember, this is one of our words, uh, no more than, so we know we're going to have a less than or equal to. So we have more than 80, so we're going to write x is going to be greater than 80 because it's more than 80 but then it's going to be no more than so it's going to be less than or equal to 110 and then if we were to write this on a number line what we would do for this one it is uh, greater than so if this is 80 greater than would be circled the dot would not be filled in, okay? We would draw a line and this would be 110 and we would close the dot in telling you that it includes this number. I hope that helps with converting words to inequalities. Thanks for watching and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.